Alright, what's up YouTube? It's your girl Miss Deanna31. Um, back on YouTube. I've been absent for a while. Some of you may have noticed. Most of you probably didn't. Um, but um, praise God, I'm back. Not only am I back um, on YouTube, I am back at work. Um, been absent from here for a few weeks too. Um, due to some health issues that I've been dealing with. Um, this video is not going to be long. Just a, a hello, a couple of thank yous, and a very, very quick update. Um, first of all, um, health update. I am holding food on my stomach, have been for about a week and a half now. Um, my color is coming back. Um, my skin had gotten very dark. Um, my lips were um, extremely cracked um, because of severe dehydration um, and my diagnosis for my swelling and my pain and this, that, and the third. Um, after being sent um, from the local hospital, eh, not hitting on nothing, um, to a hospital out of town, um, I had a renal scan and discovered that I had a blood clot in my left leg. Um, not my first time having a blood clot in this leg. Um, I actually dealt with the same situation, I believe, um, in 2001. But I honestly did not think that that was what it was this time. Um, I still have a few more doctors to see for some other issues that I've been having. And um, as soon as I work those issues out and, and get a prognosis on that, I will let you guys know. And uh, we'll just go from there. But as of today, as of right now, I feel good. I am claiming total healing, total victory. And um, that's all I have to say about that. You know, because it is what it is. I know that no matter what I say, no matter what the doctor says, I know that he has the final word. And um, I'm chose. I'm going to choose to roll with the big man. So um, that's about it on that. Um, my weight loss journey. Um, of course, I've been thrown off of it, considering everything that's been going on. Um, I was unable to exercise um, like I was because of, of the pain and the swelling. And in all honesty, I was um, extremely, extremely tired. Um, I've had high blood pressure since I was um, 15 years old. But for um, whatever the reason, my blood pressure has been or had been extremely low during the time when I was sick. I mean, extremely low. So um, they actually had to put me on some medicine to raise my blood pressure. And I'm like, ain't this about a trip? I've been taking, you know, umpteen medicines since I was a teenager to get my blood pressure to go down. Now I got to take something to get it to go up. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, like I said, I was just extremely tired and a lot of pain, so, um, that kind of threw me off of it. Um, I have gained weight. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly how much as of right now, but, um, um, and I guess because I look at myself every day, I can see it, um, I can see some of it in my face. Um, my face is, to me, it looks a little a little puffier than it was beforehand um i'm still um in my 26s so um you know it has it's not um 20 30 pounds that i've gained back but i have gained weight back um i was extremely disappointed extremely frustrated about it but then um i said you know what there's just been a lot going on and not only do I still have my own issues and my own life to deal with um, I still have a mother I still have three children I still have a husband I still have a household that I have to deal with so um you know things happening like and um, I went um, a couple of weeks not being able to hold anything on my stomach and when I finally did get that straightened out. I'm not going to lie, y'all. Um, I think day number three, honey, I was eating. I was hungry. 
not hungry. I was hungry. And I was eating. Oh, oh yes, I'm not even going to play with y'all. I was eating. So, um, I was upset with myself for because I felt like I allowed myself to get out of control. I felt, I felt like I allowed, um, I almost used my situation as a, you know, as an excuse to eat poorly. But, um, you know, I've, I've dealt with that. And like I said, I'm not going to continue to beat myself up about that because, um, when it came to my health, when it came to, um, you know, okay, something is wrong and you may not wake up tomorrow. You know, this journey uploads and everything else, um, took a back seat. It really did. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm feeling a whole lot better. Um, this is my first day back at work today. And, um, I was and wasn't ready to come back to work. Number one, I was ready because, um, you know, if you know what I know, being out of work in this economy, not a good thing. Um, you know, I was not ready to come back to work just because, in all honesty. And, but, um, you know, you draw your own conclusion from that. But, um, I'm here. Praise God. I'm, I, I, I thanked him the whole way out here. So, um, you know, it is what it is. When, um, I am at 100%, then I know that I will jump back on this journey, um, full-fledged. I'm not gonna, um... Like I said, I'm not going to beat myself up too bad about my weight gain. I will jump on the scale tomorrow, though, and I'm going to record it so that you guys can see um, what damage has been done um, so that you all know where my starting over point is going to be. Yeah, a, a starting over point. So you guys will know where my starting over point is going to be. Um, as of right now, I'm not overeating. I'm not eating junk food. I am um, still eating healthy. Um, doing some some minimal exercises. Um, this well tonight when I get off, I'm gonna jump on the Wii. Instead of putting in an hour and a half on the Wii, I think I'm just gonna go probably 45 minutes and just see how I feel after that, and just you know kind of build my endurance back up and and just go from there. And um. No, that's about it, everybody. Um, like I said, I was extremely disappointed in myself, and I still um, feel bad. I'm still upset at the fact that I gained weight, but, you know, it, it, it is what it is, and that's just how I'm going to look at it this whole round because there were things bigger than this that, um, that you know, took center stage. Um, I want to thank everybody um, for your emails, for your comments, for your care and concern. Um, you know, just thank you. You know, I don't know any other words to say. Thank you. I love you all and I appreciate it. Um, Miss Queen of Two Kings, Miss Q2K, girl, thank you so much for reaching out the way that you did. Um, thank you for sharing with me. Thank you for the information. Thank you for every email that you sent. I appreciate it. It did me a world of good knowing that there was somebody else out there other than my immediate family that I could talk to that I could open up about um, everything that was going on um, and that could actually relate to what was going on and could offer some advice um, so I thank you so much for that you know that that really really helped and it really really touched me so um a special shout out to Miss Q2K. Um, and that's pretty much it for today, you guys. After this week, my uploads will once again um, begin to be, you know, more frequent, um, more consistent like they were before this this little small break, this little hiatus that, that, um, that I was on. And again, I just want to thank everybody for the comments, for the emails, for the care and the concern. Um, I thank you all for it. So with that being said, uh, love yourselves, love one another. Congratulations to everybody that is on this journey and that is making progress. You know, this is a big thing. Um, putting your life, your triumphs and your failures and your weight 
out there for everybody to see. That is a huge thing, and, and I commend everybody for doing it. I commend you for putting for putting your fears to the side and just doing it. I, I really commend you. That, that takes a lot. But we're doing it. So, um, again, like I said, everybody, love yourselves. Love one another. Take care of yourselves. Um, if something doesn't feel right, get it checked out. Please, don't wait till the last minute. Get it checked out. Um, you guys, take care. Be blessed. And we will see you next go round. Bye, everybody. Very